And then I was saying to myself, okay, at least try to win second set. And then at least you lose the final in three sets. It's already something better than before. can begin the celebrations. The first two finals that I played, I completely burned out. I lost it even before I went on court. I couldn't handle pressure. I couldn't handle my feelings. And that's it. So I, I lost, I think, easy to Stefanos, 3-2, and, and I lost easy to Sasha, also like 2-3 and three or 3-2. Three and two. This time I said, okay, if I lose that easy, nothing gonna happen. I already lost like this twice. A very warm welcome to finals day, where two men will battle for a very first Masters 1000 title. Le numéro 6 mondial, André Rublev. He's a very talented player, very uncomfortable to play. Basically, he's not really playing rallies. Sometimes, maybe a few rallies in a couple of games, but most of the, most of the times he, he just go for the two, three shots. And in the end, that's why it's tough to play, because he can, he can go for these two, three shots and he can make winner, 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 and suddenly, out of nowhere, uh, he break you and you start to lose. It's tough when someone doesn't give you a rhythm. Oh, well, how about that for a turn game from the 19-year-old? Couple of unbelievable drop shots and what a way to come through it. And it's Runa who breaks first. It was really tight because he had earlier break points. Uh, I saved them. Uh, I had also kind of a couple of break points uh, and I didn't make them, so he saved them and we were going quite equal. And then I guess I, at 6-5 I, I lost one stupid game or something, so I was set already. It's long. Well, you kind of felt as though it was Andre Rublev who had all the chances in that opening set. He had eight break points in total, but it's Runa who has it in his back pocket. And then I, I said, OK, then he is much better than me today and he's his final, whatever. And then since the first game of second set, I started to play better somehow, I don't know why. And I was able to break him and I was, I think, 3-0 in three or four minutes. And, I, and then I was saying to myself, OK, at least try to win second set. And then at least you lose the final in three sets. It's already something better than before. and rapid turnaround from Andrei Rublev. After dropping that opening set, he has leveled things up out here. Were you telling yourself anything in your head and when you were down? Like, what did you keep telling yourself? That is over. It, it was over, but at least yeah, try to, to play, not to try, not like to give up. At least try to, if you have easy balls or whatever, just still play them the same as it was equal score. You never know, maybe somehow there will be one chance to, to come back and uh, maybe somehow you will be lucky and you will make it. And in the end, it, that happened. Actually, the game at 6-5, I was super lucky. 
because I don't know, I think it was a bit windy, I don't remember why, but I remember I was not serving full. I was serving kind of like a kick serve or something or like a middle serve. And now in my head it's because of the wind. And I was lucky that he make three returns, I think, out. So I make this middle serve and he didn't return not one of them. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> and it was 40 love. And I think first match point I lost. And then the second one, I said, okay, now I'm gonna go for the full serve. I go wide. And in the beginning, I didn't realize because I was thinking maybe it was out or something. And then the referee was not calling anything. And I realized that the ball was in and then perfect feeling. The first Masters 1000 title for the world number six. I mean, the feeling is amazing. Uh, obviously, of course, uh, the impact is that in a race, I'm more or less <laughs> in a good position now. <laughs> Without Monte Carlo, it will be tough to be top eight. So I guess that's the impact.